Hello, Royal family. This is Tammy from Glam Queen of DIY, and welcome back to the channel. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to take trash to treasure and create a useful DIY. So, I just need you to stay tuned. Royal family, I painted these pieces off camera, so I have my painted hurricane. I'm going to be using this blue glitter, my Mod Podge, that Hoochie Diamond strips, and those gems. So we're going to just get this DIY started, and I am going to cut just a two-row strip of this Hoochie Diamond bling. I'm going to drop Hoochie's link in my description box also. And I'm adding that strip on in a kind of a design. I want to loop the design, but we're just going to lay it on. And to everyone, please forgive me. My lighting was actually very, very bad. Uh, trying to film this so please forgive me for that I will correct it in the video now I'm just taking my fix all adhesive from the Dollar Tree now make sure you use whatever type of adhesive you want and I'm going to just glue around that bling strip and to everyone this video is part of a collaboration between me and mom Doll's homemade life now what mom does uh, channel is about, she believes in creating DIYs with almost a no cost. She is a genius at doing that. Make sure if you're not a family member of mom does homemade life, you go over and check her channel out. I'm dropping her link down in her description box and she does these challenges every month. Make sure you go and see what she has created for this useful DIY Trash to Treasure Challenge. And if you're watching and you're new to this channel, welcome aboard. If you're coming from Mom Dolls, we love to have you here, here on the Glam Queen of DIY. Our name says it all. We love to do everything with the Glam Flare. And if you're a returning faithful follower, thank you once again for continuing to support your girl. Make sure you also go check out that 5K giveaway video so that you can register for that drawing. And we're just going to trace out that bling strip on that one side and I'm doing four rows of the gems. And once I complete this, uh, we'll come right back into the video. And now I'm just taking that March Parch and that ice blue glitter. Now the glitter came from Hobby Lobby. And I am going to still add my March Parch and onto this piece in a design as well.
And I'm just making sure that I cover my vase very well so I can pour in that glitter. I always like to use the free pouring method for my glitter. And I also just grab my lid so I can recycle my glitter once I pour it on. And once you have achieved the look that you're going for with your Mod Podge, you're now ready to add your glitter. And you know, if you've been following me for a while, you know I love to free pour my glitter as well. And with this hurricane vase, I'm going to just lay it on my lid because of the shape of the vase so I can actually get my glitter in this curving on how I created the curve look with the Mod Podge. So I want to make sure that I do cover that design well. And I'm going to do this till I completely cover that design completely. Then I'm going to let it dry and we'll be right back. And I only wanted to add a coat of the paint on these because I was actually going to trash them. And I didn't want that uh, copper looking color to show through. So now I'm just actually mod podging it because you know, as you can tell, we're going to add that beautiful baby blue glitter onto the candlestick. And I'm coming back again just to free pour that glitter. And as you can see, her color and her design is coming in well with this ice blue glitter. Now that that candlestick has dried, we're going to go ahead and seal it with the Mod Podge. And it's the same step as before. And if you ever see, use Mod Podge to seal, it's very simple. You just brush your Mod Podge over the glitter and it keeps the glitter from falling out. Now, if you want to see another different type of hack to prevent glitter from falling out, please check out my video that shows you how to prevent glitter from falling out. Now that my top hurricane piece is dry, I'm just going to glue it to this uh, tapered candlestick. And all you do is, just, and I always use the glue of your choice. And I'm just going to connect the two. Now what happened was my glue was not hot enough. So if you ever have that incident, all you do is just pull that glue back off. But you got to make sure you get every piece of the glue off. So I'm just peeling that glue off so I can come back and re-glue it so I can get the two pieces to here together the correct way. Now I'm adhering it and connecting the two pieces together and normally I actually seal because as you can tell I have not sealed the glitter on that hurricane piece because this piece uh, 
is tapered and rounded at the bottom. I wanted to actually seal this hurricane piece while it's on top of that candlestick. So I'm just going in now and doing the same thing as I did for that tapered candlestick. It's just adding in my Mod Podge to seal it. Now I'm gonna do this and once I completely cover it, I'm gonna let it sit for about 45 minutes to an hour and let it dry. Then we'll come back to finish off this useful DIY trash to trash treasure video challenge and again if you're not a family member of mom doll's life homemade make sure you go over to her channel subscribe and let her know that the glam queen sent you over all right this is my completed diy these two pieces are gorgeous and you know you will see them styled in my home in an upcoming room tour very soon and we're going to work on getting that lighting fixed um but here they are the two i enjoyed working with mom dolls on this juice for diy challenge and you know your girl can't close out without letting you know to always, always, always be positive so you can remain productive and stay positioned to make your next move your best move. I'll see every one of you in another upcoming video. Bye, everyone. Stay blessed and always stay positive.